I was uh, scrolling through my news feed on my phone the other day, and I found out that Apple has actually started to get into the market for uh, for making electric cars. Yeah, they're going to include all the features that they can, uh, you know, within their Apple ecosystem. But there's one uh, common thing that they won't include in their in their new car: Windows. Well, thanks for coming back and uh, watching these videos as I journey along in starting a small business. It's been cool to see people's responses in uh, the encouragement that they've given me so far um, in just being bold enough to take uh, kind of a step in what I think might be the right direction. It's currently March, uh, the beginning of March, and uh, these videos are going back now to December. The previous series was in September, so we jumped a couple months. Things started getting kind of just more legitimate in in the operation. I, I'm not gonna like quit this in like two months or anything like that. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, but back in December, when these when this series of videos was shot, I had just established um, the LLC organization or entity, I suppose they call it. And it was pretty easy. I uh, just did it straight through the state's website. And I got a tax ID number, employee identif employee tax ID number or something like that, employer. Then I also uh, got a logo and a business name. You can see it here. Actually, this was given to me by uh, for a Christmas gift from my sister. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> so... Uh, my my friend had came up with a logo and I was like, great, it's simple, it's memorable, let's go with that. So uh, that was awesome. And then I had also gotten a website established. Uh, I started using QuickBooks, which is a an accounting software that a lot of small businesses use when they get started. Um, you know, things started to get a little bit more um, legitimate as far as I'm actually doing this. I think at this point, I had told my employer that I was actually pulling the trigger on this thing um, as to make it a very, very smooth transition of me out and hopefully in for the next person. Uh, that hasn't quite panned out uh, exactly as, as we were hoping. They haven't found anybody to replace me quite yet, but I'm sure that's it's very much in the works. So without any more further ado, let's uh, journey back to December and uh, you guys can observe what it's like to start a small business from the ground up. Here we go. Yesterday, I felt really empowered at one point. Uh, I got my own business bank account, uh, debit, credit, credit card, so that was cool. Uh, driving away from the bank, <clears throat> I was like, I could have used to be business expenses for me. I'm like, have you ever been in a job where uh, I've had to manage funds? Uh, I've never been in a job where uh, I don't get to make any kind of calls as far as how we spend money. Maybe a little tiny bit, but not very much. Um, and uh, so it was really empowering. I was driving away. I was like, I'm gonna go meet somebody for coffee later that day. And I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy him coffee, and it's a business expense. I'm like, wait a second. Hi. If I want to go to lunch with people and partially socialize, partially business network, I can write. I can buy them. And I can say it's a business expense, and nobody can tell me otherwise. Like, that was kind of cool. It was really kind of a cool feeling. Like, and I was just like kind of buzzing from that thought. Like, oh, actually, like, the social bones in my body actually, like, would probably help me in this. I've been reading online about, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's true about any network, right? It's about any job. Like, networking is, is kind of a big deal. It's not, it's not what you do, it's more about who you know. And that's true to some extent, but like, you know, at some point it breaks down. But anyway, I was I was driving away from there and just 
I just felt like I was just so empowered to not have to ask somebody's permission if I could do this thing. Or, like, take new people that I meet uh, and drink lunch. Because that's what you do as a business owner. There's my car. It's labeled as such. I think this might be the end of it. Mechanic said it's a water pump. 1200 bucks to fix it. Got a little bit of fluid. I just drove it home. Uh, she's done. But this is the new one. My dad's truck. He got a brand new one. All right, well, it's been a little bit since I shot the last video. It is now December, what is it, watch? December 6th, 2023. And lots has happened since the last video I shot, which I haven't even officially made it official on social media yet. Work knows what's happening. Uh, my last official day is January 14th. Uh, I've been shooting these videos, not knowing if they'll ever see the light of day, and uh, still haven't published a single one yet. I do have a plan to make a video announcement, which will happen. So you're probably seeing this after that video has been put out, which probably got like five views. I'll tell you about my car. My car died. Subaru. Forester, it's been a great vehicle. 2006, 256,000 miles on it. I did a good job of maintaining it, making it last as long as I possibly could to make it financially feasible. High five to me. And uh, the water pump died. I could probably try to fix it myself, but you have to remove the timing belt. I don't really want to do that. I don't really feel comfortable about that. So talked to my mechanic guy and he said it'll be twelve hundred dollars i was like well maybe i should just pull the trigger on buying a truck so i called up my dad and said dad would you drive test drive some trucks with me make sure i'm getting a good deal it's kind of a transitional vehicle eventually i'd like a bigger truck but you know this is what i can probably afford this time and he said let me give you a call back uh apparently he talked some things over with my mom and they decided to sell me his truck that he had at the time. So here we are. It's a new truck to me. Uh, and that's literally just something that I could not have orchestrated myself. Uh, you know, I like to believe that the Lord laid that out for me. And, uh, you know, the, the obviously it's a, it's a great deal. My dad's not going to rip me off. Uh, <laughs> so it's a 2011. Silverado 1500 with 80,000 miles and he's giving me a good price on it. Financing option is really good too. Zero percent financing for the life of the loan. So lucked out on that one. Uh, he was originally going to be getting a different truck a couple of years ago and decided to keep this one. So uh, thanks dad. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for <laughs> He couldn't have seen that happen, and neither could I have seen that happen. So uh, he got himself a brand new uh, truck, and I got this wonderful truck that's going to work out great for exactly what I need. Um, shift to subject. So yeah, the uh, my last official day is January fourteenth of next year, two thousand twenty-four. Originally, I was going to leave right after Christmas and just make it a clean cut 2023. In 2024, I've got, you know, a new uh, employment status, but uh, I talked to it with my supervisor at my church, and he asked if I could do a couple weeks into January. I said, sure, I want to make it as, uh, as, as smooth of a transition um, for the church as possible because I want to come back and contract 
that's what he asked me to do. So that's what we're doing. Um, so I'll go back to the other side of the microphone again. <laughs> Been an audio guy for six years on the uh, on the back side of the microphone. Now I'll be kind of on the front side of the microphone, at least a guitar amp or a fake guitar amp. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> and uh, so I get to be uh, get to play guitar again, which is something I've missed the last four years or so. First couple years was kind of fun uh, to learn the audio thing. And I mean, it's not, not kind of fun, a lot of fun to learn the audio thing. Um, and uh, then it started losing its appeal and I need uh, I need variety in my life. And so that's uh, that's uh, one of the one of the reasons for the switch. I've uh, been working with, uh, I don't know if it's okay to say people's names specifically and companies specifically when I, if I post these things to YouTube, but I've been working with him. Uh, I know this guy from um, North Central. When I went to North Central in the music program, he was a guitar major, I was a guitar major. Uh, and our wives were both piano majors at the same time. So there's a lot of, a lot of similarities between uh, myself and um, he actually has a background in cabinetry and uh, working with his dad, uh, his dad's business, it's a cabinet business, and so he has a background in that. And I also have a little bit of a background in cabinetry. I worked part-time at a couple different spots, um, and that was a great experience to learn from as well. Uh, and then also has a history of uh, maintenance. Uh, I think he worked at our college for a bit in the maintenance team and then worked at his church on the maintenance team and uh, decided to open his own business. Basically, it's a handyman service that is also kind of a contractor business. So kind of, um, kind of a little bit of both. He, I think he would say that he likes to focus on in fact, he has said this before. He likes to focus on the bigger projects um, for many different reasons. Uh, and so uh, essentially, yeah, he takes on like kind of medium sized remodel projects. Uh, something we've done a few of this uh, past summer is uh, Dex. So I've been working with him on my two days a week off from my full time audio job um, for the past three, maybe four months now, and kind of learn the industry and get in the industry a little bit and see what it's like and um, just kind of absorb as much as I can from him. Uh, and then come January 14th, uh, we've agreed to uh, bump my hours up from two days a week to 20 hours a week, so that way, uh, I can kind of help him in his business and he can help me and kind of get my feet on the ground and uh, see where it goes from there. We've talked about doing a partnership thing. Doesn't We've talked about just like me subcontracting for him. We've talked about all kinds of different things. I have no idea what that's going to turn into and I'm sure it's going to be great, uh, but it's been really great to work with him and I'm thankful for that so far. So. Uh, since my last video, which I think was about getting a bank account, I now have a website and uh, I have a bunch of different tools. I bought like $500 worth of tools, Makita, Portless stuff, and that was a great find. It was a, like a lumber yard in Jordan, a couple hours away. Uh, I had to buy some batteries because my little two two amp hour ones that were like over 10 years old were gonna really cut it for very much longer like I needed just more capacity so I started looking at uh, how much batteries are and for a two pack it was like $280 I was like oh my goodness well I don't know I guess I'm in the contracting biz now so tools are just gonna cost some money but you know what I'm gonna see what's on Facebook marketplace so I took a look at uh, marketplace and there was a lot of tools, Makita tools, that had uh, I think 11 or 12 batteries 
along with three circular saws, three impact drivers, a bigger, nicer brushless drill, uh, a dual battery powered, like 36 volt cir uh, circular saw, and a rotary drill. So, a hammer, yeah, a hammer drill, like a big, like concrete type of hammer drill. Um, and a reciprocating saw, job site radio, two chargers, all for $500. So that was kind of cool. I found that. It feels good to have the right tools for the job, basically. So I also got liability insurance. Um, so that way if I get injured on a job, uh, I'm covered that way. Also, you're supposed to carry liability insurance. Um, I haven't gotten licensed yet, which I'm kind of ahead of the game on a couple things. Um, so I think I have some time. I've heard that in the construction industry, or at least the handyman side of things, people don't necessarily get licensed right away. Uh, like a residential remodel license, and then there's also a new construction or a general contractor type of uh, licensing. I don't know what the difference is. I just know there's two different types. I might have to get one of those at some point because I really do want to be able to say that I'm licensed and insured and bonded. I don't even know what bonded is. I think it's some sort of like if something happens and you can't finish the job, then there's some sort of something to protect the client and maybe it protects me. I don't even know yet. So I don't know. You got to figure that out. I suppose that's kind of next step, but uh, yeah, good times. Uh, learning all kinds of stuff about everything. 